So for those of you guys that don't know, which a lot of you guys will know who this is, a lot of you guys won't know who this is, but Kevin Samuels at the age of 56 just passed away. And um, he did similar things, but different as to what I do. He holds these phony Montanas accountable. And the fact that he just passed, it's actually nuts. Like it's one of those shocking out of nowhere deaths to a health to a healthy looking man that just out of nowhere dies. There's controversy surrounding his death too. I've seen some stuff and who knows what happened. Um, I've seen some stuff that some 32 year old nurse that he just met, he was hanging out with her and all of a sudden he dies. But if I had to guess, I don't think anyone killed him. If I had to guess, I don't think so, but you never know, man, in this crazy world we're living in today because when you are a person that you speak out and you, you tell no lies, people can come after you. And he's a huge name, millions of subscribers, and uh, at the age of 56, he's found dead, unconscious, unresponsive. Brutally shocking. And I was not one to watch too much of Kevin Samuels, but I've seen him in multiple videos, to say the least for sure. And I agree with a lot of what he said and what he what he said in videos. Um, I've seen him on different people's podcasts, which is honestly where I discovered him in the first place was from other people's shows that he came on and he had his own show as well, which was a huge hit. But the crazy thing is, man, is a lot of people are celebrating this man's death. A lot of the black people in the world, he's a black man and a lot of black people went against him because of what he stood for, because of the things that he said. <clears throat> and it's just nuts. Like, to go against someone that has died, bro, you'd have to think someone like literally done something to your parents, done something to your close family members for you to celebrate and laugh about another man's death. This guy had opinions, this guy said actual facts, and there's people in the world that are that crazy that are literally celebrating this man's death. It's, it's nuts. Um. <clears throat> Little to nobody deserves that type of treatment. He has a lot of positive stuff and a lot of support, which we're not gonna count that out. We're not gonna not talk about that because he has a lot. But this man made this world a better place from, from his contribution, from his words of wisdom. And he has so many people celebrating his death. There's a lot of negative, there's a lot of positive. The positive outweighs the negative, but there's always those people, man, that... You, it shows everything about them. It shows their character. He held women accountable. He held men accountable. Just like we do. He took things to a whole other extent, but man, like this man speaks nothing but facts. And people want to give him this type of a, of a response to his death. His family has to see those things. Like, it's nuts. You, no one deserves that type of treatment unless you literally do something to someone else's family or you're a murderer, rapist, etc., etc. Nobody deserves that just because you had opinions because you spoke facts. He definitely got under people's skin in the world. But that's from speaking facts. That's from holding delusional ass people accountable, bro. Kevin Samuels. That's what he does. He doesn't beat around the bush. So, 
when you had delusional people in the world and he holds you accountable, those people are going to get pissed. They're probably never told no in their lives. They're probably told a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't even true. And then you get a man like him that comes around and holds these people accountable and he has a huge platform. <clears throat> He's going to piss a lot of people off, but the truth is the truth. And they take, they, they took things that far. Which is nuts. That's the world we're living in today. The world lacks empathy. Me and a friend was talking about this yesterday. I'm late getting to this video. <clears throat> the world lacks empathy today. To the point where people are celebrating other people's deaths because they didn't like what they said. That's how dark and sensitive and, and stuff a lot of people are. They can't hear the truth because of the fucking clown world that they live in. They can't hear the truth. It's fucking pathetic. <clears throat> Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. He is a legend. The godfather himself, Kevin Samuels. He is forever a legend. He done a lot in this world. He changed a lot of people's lives. Way more positive than negative. But there's always those negative people out there is the thing. And they'll forever be that way. The world will forever have these people. There's a lot of people sent a lot of positive messages out about Kevin Samuels, but there's always that negative stuff. Always. And it's just horrendous. Like, there's these memes about him, there's, there's people saying some nasty stuff. Literal celebrations of his death. And it's coming from a lot of women. That's who it's coming from, a lot of women. Because he held a lot of those women accountable. He said a lot of things. That was the fucking truth. They didn't like his truth. They didn't like the facts that he had to speak because it hit a nerve. And they celebrate his death. A death that happened out of absolutely nowhere. <clears throat> and he will forever be a huge staple in this world for, for all the stuff he did for you. For those of you guys, like I said, a, a lot of you guys that are watching this video, some of you at least will not know Kevin Samuels. A lot of you, I guarantee you, you will know Kevin Samuels. But for those of you that don't, just go look at the work that he's done and you'll will, you will know for yourself that he is not a bad man because he he had a bad rep from, from some people in the world, but those are a lot of the sensitive fucking hillbillies in this world. Which is where the bad rep comes from. People can take clips at a little stuff that you said you realize you can make anybody in the world look bad if you if you if that is your goal because there's people that, that edit things clip things out and take words that you say out of context you could literally do a podcast or a video that lasts like two hours you could have said like so many good things in it you could have you could have had you could have been saying like one bad thing people take a clip out of that people take a clip out of something else like another whole video or podcast that you've done, they can take all these clips to make you look like a bad person. And that is what's happening with a lot of people that are similar to Kevin Samuels. At all the videos I've done on my own channel, people could make me look like a demon, like a monster. If people like clipped out so many things that I said in other videos, that sounds controversy. That, that sounds like controversy and, and all this stuff. My point is, you can make anybody look bad. You can take little clips and you can put them out there and it's like, oh my God, he or she said this. But did you hear what I said before that and you, did you hear what I had to say after that? No, you didn't. So, of course, you can make anybody sound or look bad. That's what a lot of people done to him because he done great work. And you got all these bitter, you got all these bitter people celebrating this man's death, which is nuts. They got to be held accountable even more after this. 
like these are the true criminals these are the true frauds in life is these people oh kevin samuels he's this he's that no <laughs> this man changed a lot of people's lives this man has been through a lot this man has done a lot of good things people that go through the most usually make the biggest impact in the world in my in my past i went through quite a lot i learned from it some people go through things they don't learn from it. They, they take this dark road and they don't improve themselves off of what has happened i went through a lot it made me a lot stronger so I can teach, I can, I can educate, I can do certain things to help other people through my life, through my journey, through my messages. Kevin Samuels, something similar. So, and he does not deserve all this hate, but yet he's getting it from all these filthy animals. <clears throat> and for those of you guys that have never watch anything that he's done let me just give you an example right quick of some of the things that he's done and said so let's say for instance a woman that is as average as average right say she's in her late 30s single mom late 30s single mom past her prime a woman like that feels she is entitled and deserves a younger six foot tall plus six figure earner type of man and a woman like that thinks she deserves that type of a man and he's the type of guy Kevin Samuels to, to bring a woman like that on the show to give her a reality check because that's complete delusional women like that are, are, are saying Oh, I'm not settling and I'm not going to settle for anything less than a man like this. So Kevin Samuels pops in and he's like, you are completely delusional. We're going to hold you accountable here. We are going to hit you with reality. You don't deserve a man like this. Why would you? You're as average as average. You're average at best. At best, so probably below average. I've seen some of his shows. Insane. Insane. The delusion from some of these women, man. And this is just an example. The delusion is insane. What six foot tall, six figure earner type of man looks good, all this stuff, young. Who would want to settle? Nothing against single moms, nothing against women that are a little bit older now. But what kind of a man of that caliber is going to go after a woman in her late 30s that is a single mom. Let's be honest. And there's definitely some, some, some pretty good looking women in the world that are probably in their late 30s that might even be a single mom. No shame. But a man of that caliber can get almost whatever he wants. He's not, he's not going to take you up. Where is the shame in this? Because... Do you think a woman would go after something in the opposite spectrum here? If you turn things around, do you think a woman would go after a man that is five foot one? Forty some years old, lives with his mom, smokes pot, no goals, no ambitions, no anything. What do you think? Absolutely not. So men have standards, women have standards. And there's a lot of women that are delusional. Way more delusional than men because men accept reality. There's a lot of women in the world and most of you guys that watch this channel, you guys do 100%. But there's those delusional women in the world. If you, wanna, if, if you guys wanna know delusional, after this video, go to the Fresh and Fit podcast and just watch the video. You will see delusional females in front of your own eyes. These are the ones that are being held accountable. And these are the same haters that go to Kevin Samuels when he dies. And pretty much has a celebration over it, which is so immature. And just crazy. Like, you guys are fucking nuts. That is pathetic behavior. That's very low. All because they got held accountable. 
All because they got told the truth. You see, so a lot of men accept reality. But a lot of the women in this world don't want to accept reality. That's the problem here. So you get a guy like Kevin Samuels, he will hold them accountable. That's what he does. He wants women to get married. He wants women to be happy. He's not trying... People, like, women take things so personal a lot of the times. Men are not like that. They accept reality. And I'm not saying a lot of you women on this channel don't. But they just want to take offense to every little thing. But reality is reality. He's trying to make them see what they're probably going to get or end up with. Or their way, he weighs out their own options for them. To save them from their own future self. Because they're never going to land on that person that they think they can get. Which they are very delusional about. That's it. So how is this man doing harm in this world? He wants these women to be happy. He wants these women to get married. He's trying to tell them, look, you're probably fatherless, you're probably this, you're probably that, but hey, let me be your daddy for a second. Let me tell you how things actually are, because this is delusional. You're not going to get this. What are you thinking? So how's that bad? He's holding her accountable. This is just an example of some of the stuff that he's done. There's no shame in this. There's nothing bad about this. He might crush her delusional fantasy world, but it needs to happen for a lot of people. It does. Because they're never going to get what they think they might be able to get. Never. You're going to get what you deserve. A woman like that does not deserve a man like that. Let's be honest. Am I a bad person for saying this? No. I'm realistic. Very realistic. You can have all these ideas and fantasies, but you're not going to get that. There's like less than 1% chance. If there's less than 1% chance, well, no, let me say this. If there was a 99.2% chance that your parachute will not work when you jump out of the plane, would you do it? No, you wouldn't. I don't care who you are, you would not do that dumb shit. Would you jump out of a plane if there was a 99.2% chance that that parachute will not pop? No. So why would you give yourself an, uh, a less than 1% chance of finding happiness in your life and thinking that you're going to get something that is just not there that you're not going to get? The most beautiful women that have everything on point in this world. Their looks, their head, their brain, their finances, all these things are very rare if a woman can have all these things on point. Like everything is on point with her. A woman like that has a hard time getting a man of that caliber, let alone a woman that is already a single mother that is in her late 30s. Now, I'm not saying you can't get a man, just not a man of that caliber. The odds of that happening are slim to none. Let's wake up to reality. There's nothing wrong with what is being said here. No one should be offended. It's just reality. <clears throat> but anyways, that was just an example. Rest in peace with Kevin Samuels. Um, long live the Godfather. You guys, if you guys don't know what it is, you just got to look him up. See what he's about. He is about that real life truth. People take things the wrong way. People want to get emotional and sensitive whenever he says something that goes against their own delusional beliefs. Why do that? Why not get the best you can get in life with who you are? Because that's about as good anyone is going to do. You will get your worth. You will get what you deserve. But your worth is your worth because of who you are, because of the work you put in, because of, because of your actions, because of what you've done. You are who the fuck you are. Period. You will get your worth. You got to work hard, man. Guys, girls, you got to work hard. If you want nice things, if you want good things, if you want great everything in life, you got to work hard. 
if you want to up your finances, if you want a better relationship partners, if you want better friends, if you want better this, if you want better that, you got to work hard. Period. No things are just handed to you. No, no, no great things are just going to come. Just because it's you. You have to be a good fit. Why is anyone going to want you if you're just some delusional person that you really, you're not even fun to be around? You're not a good time. You might be annoying as hell. Who knows? But bottom line is, we're all going to get our worth. Like, put in the work. If you want, if you want a six figure, six foot, handsome man, put in the work. Put yourself in the best position to manifest something like that. Don't just sit around, oh yeah, sis, I'm going to manifest this. When you're literally not what a guy like that would want. Don't be delusional. You are who you are. You can make things better by putting in a lot of work. And that's just reality. Anybody who wants to disagree is just kind of dumb, kind of slow. Because this is the world we're living in. You will always get your worth. So become something worthy. Period.